Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for Viscosity's Masterclass Series Expert Panel. My name is Monica Lee, and I'll be moderating today's discussion on Oracle Database with focus on Oracle Database 19C Business Solutions. Real quick, if you're not familiar with the company I work for, Viscosity, um, we're a full Oracle stack consulting firm and we are a system integrator specializing in Oracle Database, Oracle Apex, Cloud, and Engineered Systems. And today we're going to kick off our renewed masterclass series with our all-star cast. Let's go ahead and meet them. All right, autonomous. Where does the autonomous database fit? And will the autonomous database replace the DBA? <laughs> I think this is probably a good full panel uh, <laughs> conversation. Yeah, as a long time DBA, I guess I should chime in there and get us started at the, at the very least. Uh, I tell all the guys that ask me this, um, you know, autonomous database really just automates a lot of the tasks you didn't want to do anyway. You know, patching, backup and recovery, you know, reading through the 8 billion log files that are produced. I mean, when was the last time you went, man, I'm really excited. I could go make a backup today, right? It just doesn't happen, right? So let the AI do that for you. Free up your time to do other things that the automation isn't doing and I guess I should say yet, because every time you look around, it's doing something else. It can open SRs for you. It can do automated tuning, automate scaling your storage and your compute. I mean, so many things that that are anything that's repetitive, mundane tasks, uh, autonomous is, is either already doing or will soon. So that gives the DBA time to go out and focus on schema design, database design, doing analytics, things that are valuable to your business partners, or go spend time with your developers so that they can generate better code out of the gate to not put as much pressure on the database to have to struggle with tuning and adjusting after the, after the fact. Always easier to, to get ahead of it, spend your time with the business, understanding the data, understanding how the database works. You can be an invaluable resource to those other groups if you aren't having to tell them, yeah, I'll get back to you. I got this backup thing I'm working on. Um, so there you go. Who else? Rich? Something from you, maybe. Uh, sure. I mean, who makes sure the database is tuned before you send it to the cloud in an autonomous database? Who makes sure it can be recovered? Uh, who's going to manage the data that's there? Uh, data manager. You're moving from a database manager to a data manager. Uh, Gartner in 2018 talked about a digital twin that's coming and it's assistant to you. To me, the autonomous database is your assistant. Take those less important databases and manage them for you. You know, they say that robots are coming, implants are coming. You know, what, what can you be augmented by right now? What augmentation can you add? And the answer is autonomous database. Yeah, I, I say like our role as a DBA is changing. It's been changing um, from an autonomous perspective that capital B and DBA becomes lowercase uh, and subscript also. And we now have to think about being more of the data architects, being more of the, uh, the ones who are the ETL slash ELT understanding of that. There's so many, you know, customers that we go to where the DBAs, do not know the uh, how the data is loaded from their nightly batch jobs to how their data warehouses are uh, configured and what makes up their data warehouse. Um, but now, you know, as part of the autonomous, uh, it's a great opportunity for DBAs to understand the, their data. And I think that's a key thing is understanding the data. And then lastly, as everyone talks here about the converged database, there's so many features in the autonomous database that's automatically in there and you get all of the exit data value, you get all the pluggable value, all the AI, machine learning, and all the features of the, the databases that's only in Oracle uh, from a converged database perspective. 
yeah, that's yeah, a good I point. All like the features are there. Oh, sorry, Troy, go ahead. Uh, I was saying that was a, a really good point. All the features are there. Things that you have to pay extra for anywhere else, they're all rolled into autonomous. So, yeah, yeah, I was. Great. That's it, kind of exactly where I was going with it. I was going to just mention the fact that I like to think of the autonomous database as the database that allows you to say yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you can say yes to more projects because of the, you know, it reduces the startup time uh, of those projects. You don't have to wait for hardware to be deployed and then have to spend ages installing databases and patching that software to get it ready to go to start a new project. But the other thing is all the added features and functionality you get with it, including data safe. So although Oracle takes care of securing the physical database for you, making sure it's patched to the latest security levels, once we give you the key to the front door of that database, you know, you are responsible for securing who's allowed to come in the front door, what you do with the sensitive data, and you get data safe as a partner in that, which is a free cloud service with your autonomous database that helps you to really secure that database from the inside out. So um, you've got some help as well to do some of these additional tasks that you will still have to do as a DBA with an autonomous database, which is protect your most critical business asset, really, your data and making sure that everybody sees just what they need to do their job and you're protecting that critical asset. Yeah, the only thing I'd add is I'm always amazed when I go to customers or talk to customers when they have thousands of databases and how can you possibly manage thousands of databases and being able to, to automate that so that uh, you haven't visited a database in months because you've had to do other things. And so I think the, uh, the autonomous part is actually really important, uh, especially for folks managing just these huge numbers of, of different databases. So I've got one question um, from a DBA, and he's asking, what other areas of Oracle Cloud do you think DBA should pick up, you know, with this case of some of their tasks being automated? Security, analytics, he's asking maybe data scientists. What kind of advice do you have for um, these folks? I think they hit on a number of them there, right? Um, it's a great opportunity to beef up on uh, your analytic machine learning opportunities with the autonomous database security. We heard about data architects as well, about making sure that your schema is well designed. Um, but I think they also have an opportunity or they should beef up, beef up a little bit on networking. Um, you're going to be responsible to make the choice, the right choice for a cloud service and making sure that that's a secure and fast uh, interaction between your on-prem app potentially and that cloud database. So definitely make sure you understand the networking aspect of your, of your cloud database is, is important too. Thank you, Maria. Uh, as I say, and nothing else, finding um, opportunities that perhaps the application folks would like to be able to do, but can't because everybody's so busy doing everything else and seeing what uh, what new opportunities are available that you could leverage, because now they might actually have time to focus on uh, bringing new functionality or new uh, resources to uh, application issues.